Uh, breaking, 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 breaking news. Uh, the Browns um, just traded for Jerry Judy a few weeks ago. It might have been a week and a half ago. And they just extended him. Um, I think it was a, a three-year deal, $58 million, 41 fully guaranteed. Um, listen, you could like it, you could not like it. I get why Andrew Barry did it. Um, if because uh, I think he had one year left on the, this deal, so he would have had to been uh, he would have been a free agent then the next year anyway. So if he would have had a big year this year, his 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 asking price would have been probably way higher than what he signed for. So Andrew Barry's pretty much banking on Jerry Judy, um, banking on him pretty much. You know, it, he did it with David Njoku a few years back, and it, look, it paid off. David Njoku's top, in my book, he's a top four tight end in the league, easy. Um, I'm a little skeptical on it, really. Um, I, I just don't know if I like it. Jerry Judy really hasn't shown me a whole lot. Not enough for a first-round pick. Has he put up some good numbers? Yes. Has he played with some shitty quarterbacks and shitty offenses and shitty teams? Yes, absolutely. But, you know, we'll see. Um, so far, besides Amari Cooper, there has been nothing really receiver-wise. I'm just I'm just double double checking before I make this statement. I, I yeah, besides Amari Cooper, there's been no really any moves free agency or the draft that has worked out for Andrew Barry and the Browns when it comes to receiver. So he doesn't at the moment have a good track record on receivers, um, which does worry me. Um, you remember Steve Smith called Jerry Judy a, a jag, just the guy. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I do trust um, what Steve Smith says a lot because he knows his shit. Um, but we'll see, man. I really, I just, I really don't like it. I'd like to see them. I know it'll cost more, but I'd like to see them keep Amari Cooper around for another two years. I know he's getting up there in age, but he's the man. He's the best route runner in the league. I like having him on the team. I honestly would have rather traded up and got a young guy for a, like a Xavier Leggett or Lad McConney. I really still hope they get one of those guys. I don't see it happening uh, unless one fell, just kind of fell to them. And they could trade up, which will, will not happen. Um, they're gonna roll. They're gonna roll with Elijah Moore. Then give him another. I don't like Elijah Moore. I, I just don't, man. He he's not. He's just not as quick as I thought. Like I, I don't really think he's as quick as they thought he was gonna be. I'm not saying he's a bad receiver, but hell, they gave up way more to get Elijah Moore than they did Jerry Judy. But honestly, I would rather have a uh, a Lad McCartney and Xavier their get than a, an Elijah Moore. Guys, look, I know I keep saying those two rookies are those two incoming rookies names a lot. Xavier their get, Lad McCartney. But I'm telling you, those guys are going to be great fucking picks. I'm telling you. But uh, yeah, we'll see, man. I, you know, I, I don't. You just gotta trust an AB um, and hope it works out. It re- you know what? In the end, it really doesn't fucking matter because it's going to come down to Deshaun Watson. Are you going to get what you're paying for? And right now, I, I would say no. But but we'll see. I- I'm you know I'm rooting for him. We'll see what happens. Oh, bring back football, baby. Let's go, Brownies.